hello and welcome everyone so in this video in the last video we talked about the exception filters and we can see that running like I am passing the user email which doesn't exist so it is throwing throwing this custom exception and we can see the path and timestamp here with the status code so this is like we have customized the error response coming from the HTTP exception okay in this video we are going to talk about the pipes so we have already discussed few things about already in the pipe like validation pipe parse in pipe parse boolean pipe these three validation pipe we have discussed for the DTO validation for query parameter validation request parameter validation but you can also customize it a little bit so here you can also write your own custom pipes like validation pipe implements pipe transform and you can play around with that value so it is same as like middlewares and uh, interceptors we have created similarly you can have your own custom validation pipe so once this custom validation pipe you have created you can apply it on your controllers okay you can see this is my DTO class DTO classes we have created where we have defined okay the types of each and every attribute in the request payload once you wanted to apply them you can just use use pipe and new validation pipe this is what we were doing if I show you in the controllers here you can see the user DTO right and user DTO is saying that the type of uh, this particular user entity I mean that request payload should be of email and username email should be of type email and username should be of type string and defined okay now if we just try to see this how we are doing it in the controller we can just add a new validation pipe like here use pipe we are using so in this use pipe we are using the validation pipe the existing validation pipe but if you wanted to use a custom class also like you have created some validation pipe here you can just create a pipe and you can just say index.ts and you wanted to create some validation pipe like um, joy validation pipe right so what it is doing is joy is actually custom library right what it does is it does the object validation request payload validation this is another type you don't need to if you don't want it to use class validator you can use the legacy view of doing it joy happy it is actually powerful powerful tool to validate the schema so what we are doing is we just copy and paste it and we are going to use this validation pipe so I have to install happy.js for this happy join so one way of doing it simply using class validators if you don't want and if you want like you have a complex schema object and you wanted to write a schema validation for that then you can also use it so here in the place of validation pipe you have created a custom validation pipe joy validation pipe so you will be using that in your class okay now it is fine and once the validation is failed right it will see validation failed in request failure so it's like custom you have created by yourself and you can apply this validation pipe instead of validation pipe you can say new joy validation pipe so here you need to pass the schema so you can see in the transform it is taking two things the value and the schema right while calling this validation pipe it requires the schema to be passed right so you have to pass the schema object in the schema object you will be defining okay username should be of type string email should be of type email like the way we used to define the joy validation okay now create cat schema I mean you can have a cat schema defined somewhere and you will be just passing it 
okay with the help of class validator we have already seen this technique how to do it we create a DTO class we define all the validations and you can also create a transformer for the these class validators also I mean default they are providing but if you want a uh, custom messages so what this class is doing I will just try to explain you because they inbuilt they have provided everything so if I just do you can just see validation pipe pipe transform and it is using class validator okay so it is validating that object which is coming back and if error length is greater than zero then it is returning bad request validation otherwise it is returning the value okay and allow types like string boolean number array object right so it is also doing the same thing it is just customizing the validation pipe a little bit uh, it is just checking the meta data and meta types and then applying the rules okay so this is like a easiest way of doing it here you can just pass the validation pipe directly to the body new validation pipe and this validation pipe will be applied to the DTO which we are trying to get okay you can also apply this validation pipe globally for your application new validation pipe because we are using the pre-built validation pipe only we just customized it okay we are validating the object and then if, if we are getting any error then we are just throwing the message bad request exception okay so this is how you can apply the pipes there are parse in pipe parse boolean pipe are nothing but when you are actually accepting a query parameter or route parameter you want explicit conversion then you can use them but here the two important aspects are this how to use how to integrate the, the joy validation with uh, the existing validation pipe so you can create a custom pipe and use the, the joy validation so here this is the object schema and we are doing this validate method on top of this uh, schema object and passing the object if it comes out any error if it if some of the properties not satisfying the the joy schema then you will get a validation failed otherwise you can default if you don't want it to do anything just don't create these classes the default validation pipe is providing you just need to pass the DTO like you can just simply use validation pipe here it is predefined by nest.js and it will just validate this request against this DTO okay if you try to create a custom and you wanted to validate this request payload then you can write a custom okay uh, thanks everyone